The only way to be out of this room is to use the key that you produce. The race is on to make a key that fits. <laughs> Former paratrooper Rob is hoping this will be his chance to shine. I like to think with tools. I do DIY at home. This is good. I'm enjoying this. Uh, I'm a more practical person. <laughs> well, I think I am. <laughs> but for others, this is uncharted territory. I've never done any kind of DIY or putting nails in walls or anything like that, so it's still very new. Don't be shy with it, Rahini. This is very different to everything I've ever done before. <laughs> I've got a few handy men that come round to my flat to sort me out, uh, but, uh, yeah. Which... <laughs> <laughs> Having struggled with certain aspects of SOE training so far, Rohini needs to impress at finishing school. I think you have to be meticulous with it. You have to get the uh, measurements just right. Just one millimetre out and you won't get out of the room. As well as being used to break into places, these skills could also be used to get agents out of tricky situations. Captured SOE operative Robert Shepard found himself in a Lyon hospital with a police guard on the door. He made an impression of his window key in a bar of soap, which was smuggled out by hospital staff. A key was fashioned and passed back to Shepard, allowing him to escape. I'm trying to work out who is going to get me out of this room. After 40 minutes, Rob is first to try the door. It's going in. It's not turning. It's not turning, it's too wide. Research scientist Lizzie Jeffries has taken five minutes longer to finish her key, but is first to unlock the door. We've got a winner! Yay.